I don't know why my recording did not record anything that I started on day five. So I'm quite upset by that. Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of Pikmin 4. To fill you in on what we've done, uh, bet kind of between episodes, but uh, shouldn't have needed to. Uh, we've finished up Ochi's carry abilities. So super buff is now fully charged. He has the strength of 100 Pikmin. The lab has given us a free po prototype of the mine, which allows us to uh, put on moving targets. And as they move, it will get ready to explode. And the Piclopedia uh, gentleman gave us 20 raw materials for finding and ex and documenting 25 enemies because we have a lot of people in our base uh, Collins cleared out a little bit of home base Francois gave us a side quest of propagating Pikmin and we found this odd spaceship that is missing its captain so that is it for what I started talking about uh, for like five minutes before I noticed the game wasn't recording. So that was mean. We're all set over here. The SS Beagle can take off whenever you're ready. Which area would you like to explore? Fortunately, I noticed it before talking to Colin so that we can see this. And that leads us to Serene Shores. Now, we could go there. Or we can go back to Blossoming Arcadia and continue our role of 100%ing the entire area. We're here on day six, and our goal is to try to get uh, all the way up to at least 65% by the time we're done. Here we are landing at the Blossoming Arcadia. Okay. So what we're going to start with first is... Oh, there's a yellow. Oh, there's a yellow back there. Okay. So, let's go... 15... Oh, I lost two Ice Pikmin to battle. Twenty-five. And ten. Just like that. So let's all hop on Ochi's back. We're gonna circle around. And come right up here and go right in the middle. And we defeated a burrowing Snargrip before it could even uh, lay a finger on us. So we're going to use blue on the Snagrits. You're gonna take the tennis ball. And what we're gonna do is actually work on blowing this wall up. So, what we wanna do is pack bombs. Bombs are now a captain item. Which I absolutely love. It should 
definitely not have been uh, uh, a regular item before. So, with almost all of our Pikmin, let's take a look at our map. What I want to do next... I can't get there yet. So I guess I'm coming down. Okay. The cave is still... Yeah, it's still empty. Okay. So, let's come all the way down. And beat it up. Charge! The power of Ice Pikmin is incredible. And, uh, no, we will use yellows. Defeat the mites. Get back on Ochi. Let's go back to base. It is quite far this way. Okay. Fortunately, it looks like we are almost there. So let's go through the cave, ah, uh, the gate. thing about using ice pikmin
is the fact that it freezes enemies. Instead of propagating. Let's move the base. Let's get some extra material going. Get all the material in. Sightless passage, a cave of utter darkness into which almost no light filters. I explored for a bit, relying on the glowing mushrooms to guide the way, but I turned back to avoid unnecessary risk. I wish I had a better headlamp at my disposal. I'm starting to regret my bargain buy. Okay, so we have two wild Pikmins available inside this cave. Let's get going. 25 and 25. Sightless Passage. Only Ochi can pass through the other side of pup tunnels. Okay, so we do have water dumples. The worst of the fiends. Okay, let's go this way. Goodness. There's a Wii U game pad. Uh, no, that's not a Wii U game pad. That's an old Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Nano. Oh gosh, it's not a game. It's not a game and watch. That's it for this way. It's definitely a Game Boy. Charge! Oh. Some more Pikmin. That water dump bolt. Okay. They have a Game Boy game. Okay. Let's collect all of those. Okay. New treasure collected. We have... I'm a node beetles. Let's 
get rid of another a node beetle and the last one and move base okay so we're about halfway there And crash through the barrels. One more. And let those two yellows take them so that we're still strong with a good combo. Okay. Hello, electrical version. So this is an electrical version of that fire beetle thing we faced. And we'll move the base here now. Press down and we'll send our pup through this pup gate. And let's transport and switch again. Okay. Uh, next, let's break the wall. It sounds like my puppy's nap time is over. So, once we're done with this day, we'll be moving on. Or, I'll be taking a break. Uh, swap to you. Crash you down. We've got yellow Pikmin on a project. And we'll focus on reds. Ooh, we got our person back. What's the ID say? Petunia from Ogura. Highly focused and intelligent. She enjoys the team to in she joined the team to investigate mysterious creatures through her unconventional methods. So she's part of the research tap. Uh, task force. To investigate mysterious cri creatures, she must have come to study the Pikmin and other unusual wildlife here. That is probably the case. So let's get 
ten of you on that. And if I look... Oh, goodness. Uh. Ochi. Sniff for treasure. Follow that scent. We'll spend this opportunity to go around and get this mist pack of yellow Pikmin because it is always good to go get more Pikmin. Okay, and Ochi, how about you go to base? Because you're going to go collect the Pikmin that are there. And this wraps up the Pikmin that are here. And the cave is 100%. Return to surface. We managed to save Petunia! And we got ourselves a heat sensor, hoop of healing, masterpiece plank, and micro management station. So that's the Game Boy Micro. That's hilarious. Um, I've never had the Game Boy Micro actually. In fact, I had to recently buy a new Game Boy Advance SP. Not even new, it was from my local uh, retro game store. Um, but yeah, we recently had to go do that uh, because my my 2003 red Game Boy Advance SP finally kicked the bucket. So now I have a blue one. Equipping and unequipping gear. I never unequip gear. That's the thing. Once I buy it, I'm gonna wear it forever. Okay. So, yellow Pikmin will go down to 14 because that's 15. Blue Pikmin. Oh, we're in a new area. We encountered a Mamuda. Blue. Oh goodness, how did I not see this coming? Seven there. To get you. And then I do see it. Charge! Freeze that monster! Treasures. Mm. A 
Okay, we'll go this way. Why are there so many of these things? Okay. Unbelievable. So many. Let's grab that and let's go forward. debating let's okay we are still going in a good direction you go back to base yes I know I still have sprouts on the radar Oji's looking a little odd. Get the... Command. Come here. have a leafling battle here. Now we're not gonna do it because we won't have time. These leaflings, they really are all over the place, huh? Dundori anytime, Dundori anywhere, Dundori over and over and over again. So the reason why we're not gonna do this is because we won't have time after the battle to get him back to base anyways. There's still a castaway. Better go rescue him, rookie. Think I want to do that right now? Absolutely not. I need to do this part manually. Command. Is another cave. There's a lot for us to do here. Let's get 
this base re-triggered as base. And the reason why is because, for the most part, all of our treasure needs to streamline to here instead. We have a dandery battle here and there. We have a cave here, a cave there. Let's try to fill in more of this map, see if we can't get this taken care of. Come on. There. Oh boy. Okay. That is it. Up we go. Into our little space shuttle. And that is it. For the Art of Dundry. Not the Art of Dundry. Pikmin 4's Day 6 Exploration. Now... We definitely are much lower than I would have liked for the end of this area. However, there's still so much to explore, and I think we'll be able to do it all next time. Exploration result of day six. We got uh, Petunia rescued. Sparklium, we got several items collected. The recreation collection is complete. Sweet! So we've got Searing Acid Shock, Orbital Communication Sphere, Shake a Smile, Mechanical Harp, Memory Song, Heat Sensor Hoop, all those from the cave, Unfloatable Boat, Octoplus, Harmonic Synthesizer, Sphere of Fuzzy Feelings, and The Brush of Wisdom. So many good treasures, but we didn't make it beyond half. Now, I believe with proper planning, we'll be able to finish off the rest of uh, Blossoming Arcadia tomorrow. If I plan it out correctly, I think it's possible. Let's go chat with our captain. Mom. So this is ultra spicy nectar. With a color like that, it even looks spicy. Oh, hey. It is the main ingredient in ultra spicy spray after all. Wanna try a lick? Hmm, oh why not? If only for quality control purposes, I wouldn't want to provide my rescue officers with a faulty product. Now, let's give it a try. Uh, uh, ah, hold! Guess it's pretty spicy. I'm glad I wasn't the one who licked it. But look how fast you're moving. Just think, with this, you could get twice the amount of work done in half the time. Uh, p -p -p Perhaps. But I think ingesting this nectar directly poses some significant risks. Probably. Okay, so we had two quests. We propagated 66 Pikmin. We've found... Found? Cataloged 41 creatures. And our treasure is now able to be completed wherever that one. Yeah, right here. So, uh, no. Those are completed. Right here. Complete. Report back. Okay. So, with our energy, we are at... We are 500... And... 
39 points away from being able to explore another new area. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on Pikmin 4. If you enjoyed today's epi today's day log, please leave a comment in the comment section below, mash the like button, and subscribe if you have not for more Pikmin 4 content. We'll see you all in the next episode where we return to Blossoming Arcadia in the attempt to finish the 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 area in one day, going for over 50%. We'll see you all then. Drez plays out. <laughs>